Well, hey, take a look at this right here behind me. This is video of a procession today honoring Benton County Sheriff's Detective Paul Newell. Now, Newell died Saturday after crashing as he escorted a Wreaths Across America procession in Bentonville. Five News reporter Jose Carranza shows us how people across the state are paying their respects. Hugs like these, a common sight Sunday morning, as law enforcement officers prepare to lead Benton County Sheriff's Detective Paul Newell on his final journey. The procession to the Arkansas State Crime Lab in Little Rock, led by the motorcycle unit Newell rode with on his final day of duty. Newell was escorting a Reese Across America procession Saturday when an accident took his life. Newell is leaving behind a rich legacy, wearing many hats during his 24 years with the sheriff's office. That's a law enforcement thing. I mean, they're in this job to be there for the community, for a community outreach, uh, to support the community, to protect the community. Margo Capps is a training officer for the county search and rescue team. To be in law enforcement is to be part of that community, you know, and, and give of themselves uh, to protect and, and reach out to the community. As a spouse of a law enforcement officer, she says she's been to too many line of duty processions like this one. Close to home for her, for this long line of neighboring agencies and members of the community here paying their respects. It's just our way of showing support. You know, there's not a whole lot we can do other than show our, su our support for uh, our fallen brother. Newell wasn't just escorted to Little Rock by his brothers in blue. Many stopped along the interstate to see him on his way. And as he arrived to the state crime lab, a temporary memorial outside the Benton County Sheriff's Office continued to grow, a symbol of support from a grieving but grateful community. It is hard. There's nothing more tragic than a line of duty death. Um, so, you know, that family I know is, is hurting so badly, um, as is the entire law enforcement community. In Menton County, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.